Okay, so this question is a diagram question. And I'm gonna show you a fast way to solve these questions. It's gonna require maybe a little bit of review of what you learned in geometry, or that you learned something brand new, but it will save you time. I'm gonna label these sides <clears throat> before we get started. I'm gonna label this as A, B, C, D, and E. So here's what I want you to know. Whenever you have a setup like this, which is basically a right triangle, right? So triangle B, A, C is one large right triangle. And we've drawn an altitude from the right angle. That's important. That altitude is BD. And by doing so, we split that right triangle into two separate smaller right triangles. Whenever you have that situation, we can do what I'm going to show you now. It is that the left side of this right triangle squared, so A squared, is equal to the base of the right triangle directly beneath that side, so C, times the entire base of the right triangle, so C times C plus D. Let's go on to B. Same thing works for side B. For side B, use B, I think I have C, plus C, D, and E. For side B, it's the same thing. B squared is equal to the part directly under it, so D, times the entire base, C plus D. And then lastly for E, E squared is just equal to each part of the base, so just C times D. So this is something good to remember because it's gonna help with questions like this. These questions show up frequently enough that it's worthwhile to remember and it saves you quite a bit of time. So now all I need to do is label with what the question has provided me and know which parts of this I have and what part I'm looking for. So the question tells us that side AD is 121 over three. So that means that our C value is 121 over three. It also tells us that side AB is equal to 11 over one, I'm sorry, 11 root 130 over three. And that means that our A value is 11 root 130 over three. And then the question asks, what is the length of DC? So that's the D value. This is a part that I do not know. So I am gonna use this first one, right? I have enough information to use that first one. So that would be A squared. So for us, A squared is 11 times root 130 over three squared is equal to C, right? The portion under A, the portion of the base under A, which is 121 over three times C plus D. Well, C plus D would just simply be 121 over three plus, and I'll say, I'll call it D, right? And that's what we're trying to find, right? We're trying to find the value for D. Now there's just a lot of math to do. So 11 square root 130 squared over three squared, let's just do that. I get 15, seven, 30 over nine equals, now I'm gonna distribute this 121 over three across. So when I do that, I get 14, six, four, one over nine plus 121 over three D <clears throat> when I distribute that 121. Now I just need to subtract this from both sides. So now it's gone on the right hand side, 15, seven, 30 minus 14, six, four, one is equal to 1,089, so I have 1089 over nine, and it's still equal to that 121 over three D that I had. From here, I'm just solving for D, so I can multiply by the reciprocal, so I multiply by three over 121, multiply by three over 121. The threes, the three cancels to one, and makes the nine a three, 121 goes into itself one time. 121 goes into 1089 nine times. These are gone as well. So I'm, what I'm left with nine divided by three is equal to D, and therefore three is equal to D, 
and therefore three is my answer, right? Like that is the length of that side there. 